Yes, Judge. Good morning, Ms. Herreras. Hi, Judge. So you're charged with driving while intoxicated. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. You guys have worked out an agreement where they're offering you 180 days in jail to be probated for one year. As part of the agreement, you will do a DWI education class. Is this a second reduced to a first? That's correct, Judge. So you will do a repeat offender DWI education class. How old are you? You're 27, and now this makes two. What happens on the next one? I got a half, Your Honor. Baloney. Fool, you know how many people tell me that? You know how many people tell me that on a daily basis? It's not going to happen again. La, 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 la. Little bunny jumping in the woods. And then something catastrophic happens in your, ha happens in your life. Wife cheats on you. You lose your job. You end up going out and you do something stupid that you, didn't, you don't even realize. What happens on the next one? <clears throat> How much time are you looking at? Years, probably. Two to ten. Ten years? Two to ten years. Two to ten. Ten years in prison. And all you need is the faintest smell of alcohol because a cop will pull you over. It doesn't matter if you're drunk or not. All they're going to do is see DWI. DWI, they're going to smell your breath however you try to mask it, whatever you're doing, and then they're, we're going to throw you in. You think you've paid a lot of money now? You know, you, you act, and I get your mannerisms like you think it's a joke. No, it's not, yeah. But actions speak louder than words, and your mannerisms tell me that you think it's not a big deal, right? But you're only 27, and if you ever get pulled over, I'm telling you, it don't matter if you're drunk or not. They're going to harass the hell out of you. Every single time you get pulled over, no matter what you're doing, they're going to search you. They're going to harass you every single time because of your record. So if you're carrying anything illegal, if you're doing anything illegal, that's it. You give up the right to a trial. You're giving up the right to confront and cross-examine your witnesses. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization under federal law. You give up the right to appeal. So once you accept this, you can never come back. This, those TWIs, both of them will be on your record. They will be there for the rest of your life. You will now also be required to pay court costs and you will also be required to pay the DA fee, the, the DPS surcharge fee. Somehow I have to get through to you. And the DAs that we have are way too nice because you should be doing jail time. And because of this agreement, you're starting without any doing any jail time. Not with me. You will be required to pay the four to $6,000 fine. And if you don't pay it, guess what happens? Right. For every $100 you owe, it's one day in jail. So on a second, you're paying $4,500 to six. What is it? It's $6,000, Judge. $3,000 on $6,000 that you're going to end up paying right now. Somehow, I have to get through to you because with your attitude, it's not happening. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't pay this fee, not only will you lose your license, but I will issue jail time. And it's $100 for every day in jail. So on a $6,000 plus court cost, how, how many days do you think you'll be doing? It's a lot. As part of this agreement, to satisfy this, you will be doing, it is 180 days in jail to be probated for one year. You will do a repeat offender DWI education class. You will do one victim impact panel. You will do a TRAS, which is an evaluation to see what are the conditions you may need. You must fulfill those conditions. Substance abuse treatment, no breath test refusal, meaning if you were pulled over in a car and they ask you to submit a breath sample, you must submit. Otherwise, you're in violation of this probation. No drugs, 
alcohol, guardian interlock, and 30 hours of community service, and a $100 donation to the Houston Food Bank. You know, we, we lead the nation, Harris County, in DWI fatalities, DWI fatalities, and drunk driving crashes, mangalisms, dead bodies strewn. It, it's, it's ridiculous and it's sick. And when you come up here smiling on a second at 27 years old, it's, it shows me that either you don't care or that you can think that you can get out of this. It's not a big deal, but it really is. And at some point you'll figure it out because you're only 27 and now with two deep guys. Somehow I'm going to get through to you. I don't know. Hopefully you will be able to live up to the probation so you won't be doing any jail time. But you will be expected to pay all these fines and fees. Do you understand? Well, how, how much your court costs? Um, right now. Okay, so it'll be the six thousand plus the court costs, and then we'll put them on the two-year so payment plan. It goes on her because it's a probation. Okay, it so um, plus court costs, plus but I mean we can. Guys, uh, that's a DPS surcharge. Sure, sure that correct, but we still have to put it on for us now as part of the judgment. It's something new that we have to do. Just DPS doesn't do it the old way that they did it. We have to now enter it in. Um, and I will put them on a two-year payment plan so that it gives them enough time to pay. If you need more time to pay, we will give you time. But if you stop paying, I will issue a warrant and I will not give you any more chances. I'm going to get through to you, Mr. Redes, one way or the other, because look, apparently it's not worked any, it's, it hasn't worked so far. So one year. Yeah. How do you plead to the offense, sir? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. I will find you guilty. You know, I, I, I really hope that you remember this day, that one day you're going to come across a situation where you're going to be out there in the free world, where you're going to be confronted with a boneheaded move or to make a smart move. And I hope that you remember this because, you know, all we ask are our streets to be safe. That's all we want. Good luck, sir. Thanks. Right. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.